It is almost Valentine's Day and talking with your significant other about your joint or separate finances can be a difficult conversation. According to Dave Ramsey, it's the number one issue married couples fight about. So while it could prevent those from digging deep into their finances, discussing your financial situation is important as you build a life together. So Tony Walls joins us with a few simple tips to start that conversation. So first of all, welcome back, Tony. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and we you know we had talked about Valentine's Day is coming, right? Yep. People are coupling up and that's great. Building life together. Maybe some of you are expecting a ring or hoping to get a ring. And one of the conversations you need to have is about your finances. Absolutely. Um, like you said, it, it's it's probably the biggest issue that, that couples, married people, people getting engaged or moving in together ended up dealing with. Um, that it's not always the funnest topic. Mm -hmm. If you've got some collections or you've got more debt than you want, um, we've all been there. Um, so you just want to make sure that the open communication is the key. Um, you know, it kind of starts with, you know, how much do you make? You know, I, I, I've had I've had some couples come in and I say, okay, you know, one of them's giving me the information. Well, how much does your wife or husband make? Well, I don't know. You know, you should have an idea of kind of where, where they're at. So, um, so you can have those discussions about, um, you know, what you make, kind of your debt to income ratio, what you can afford, because at the end of the day, it goes from, you know, maybe we want to buy a house. Well, we kind of need to know where we're at, what we need to do and kind of go from there too. So, you know, if the first thing is the income, obviously, mm -hmm. to find out what you're making. And the second one is what are the debts out there? So if you're in a relationship and it's moving forward, uh, maybe they have 50 grand in student loan debts. Maybe they have some collections out there. Maybe there's a lot of credit card debt um, and not the most comfortable discussion to have, but it's one of those ones where if you don't know about it, it could be too late. Um, and then it gets to be a problem like, well, why didn't I know about this? And then all the, the fun discussions mm -hmm. with that. How many of you watch Love is Blind? Because that is, first of all, a fun show for relationships. But then they did have to have those conversations. They had, and there were some of them that were very uncomfortable. One or two of them was like, I got to be honest. I have like, you know, $50,000 in student loans. I have $30,000 in credit card debt. I have this and this and this. That will impede you from moving forward together. And a big conversation too is it's not just how much you make, but are you a spender? Are you a saver? Yes. Like, what is your, you know, what do you do with your money? How do you manage your money? Yep. And it's not about what you make it, you know, the credit score say we want to buy a house and I, you know, um, say, you know, my significant other has a 780 score and I have a 620, you know, that may be an issue putting you both on the loan. And then you also look at, you know, again, like you said, how do you manage money? Um, you know, I work with couples and, and, and married people all the time. Some will have, you know, my account, his account, and their account. Some one person will kind of run with it all and do it all. Um, whatever works. I always say there's no right way to do it, but if you can, whatever works for you. But the number one thing across everything is just that communication. It's just where are we at? What are our goals? Do we want to take a vacation? Do we want to buy a house? Do we want to save for a new car? Do we want to do whatever you want to do? just to have that open discussion, maybe we can't do it right now. Maybe we want to buy a house and, and we want to do it in six months. Maybe there's some things we got to work on. Maybe pay down some debt for that debt to income ratio. Um, save some money for a down payment possibly. Mm -hmm. And maybe it'll be two years out. But if you don't know the fundamentals, the credit scores, what you owe, what you make, um, that's the starting point, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and just to be open and honest, and uh, we've all made mistakes in life, and um, life happens. Maybe there's a medical bill out there. You know, it, you don't know. Um, but just to be open and honest um, is always the best plan. I also, one of the best things I ever did was wrote down a list of goals. Because I think if you're not thinking about what your goals are, if you're not visualizing them, you can't make a plan. So for, exactly. for instance, if I wanted to pay for my kid's wedding, that's one of my goals, is pay for my kid's weddings. I really need to start now with thinking like, how am I either going to reduce my debt so I can set that money aside? How am I going to invest so that that money is bigger when it's time for that? Because if you don't, you end up in the situation, unfortunately, where it's going to sneak up do. on you. Right. Yep. It's going to sneak up and, um, and you know, 
uh, when my daughter gets married, I'm, you know, the same boat. It's, it's, it, if you mm -hmm. don't plan for it, then you end up taking out a loan and acquiring debt because you want to do things for family members. And, and I love that because if you keep your eye on the prize, like, like you said, I want to pay for my kid's wedding. Well, the day-to-day -day things like, okay, well, now I need to do this or maybe I'll drive my car for another year. Or maybe we'll pick up a second job and, and that's just going to go for that fund or whatever. Um, but it helps to have the goals so that you look at the credit score and where you're at and okay, we're doing this because of this, because we want to buy a house, because I want to pay for, you know, m my kid's wedding or I want to retire at 60 or what have you. So yeah, absolutely important to have those goals because that makes the day to day things like, you know, why didn't I go out to dinner dinner night? Well, because that's 50 bucks I could have put toward the fund right. or whatever, paid off some debt. So yes, it, it all comes together. Um, especially when you're a couple um, with your partner, you want to make sure that you're having that discussion, especially as you move in together and you get engaged and you get married and all those other fun things. Um, and again, there's, there's no simple plan that works for everybody. You can do it 20 different ways, but as long as you're having that discussion and, and you're getting what works for you is the main thing. And maybe you've been married, you know, you're, or you're going to get married. You could have been married now 10, 20, 30 years. If people want to get in touch and if they want to kind of start this conversation, we've got your phone number up on the screen. Obviously, people can reach out and have this conversation with you because sometimes you really need to bring in that, you know, that third person, that impartial person to sit down and be like, I got to be honest with you. You are not ready to buy a new car. Yep. So. Yep, absolutely. Yep. And uh, then contact me. Then go right online at townandcountry.org and they can uh, apply for financial counseling and meet with one of our branch managers, financial services officers. Awesome. Um, we love helping. It's one of my favorite parts is just helping people, um, having that discussion, and at the end, hopefully saving them some money yeah. if we can do something. But just to sit down and take a look at everything we talked about last episode about, oh, just kind of look at everything. What can I do? Is there, you know, some ways I can refinance or something. So absolutely reach out to us. You can apply for your loans right online too, or if you wanna sit down with the, uh, with the financial service officer and uh, go over your finances, absolutely great time to do it. Well, I know that motivated me, and if you need a little bit more motivation, stay with us right after the break. You're...